Hi everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I hope um, this finds you well after another 360 days of consciousness. Uh, this path of consciousness. I lose the track of how to do this of uh, a daily transmission. So please be patient with me. As you've seen, um, I've been much more um, inside of me, like uh, not doing many things outside. And this is because I have been um, much more working on uh, working on many um, many things that are coming in the future after our gathering 1111 uh, in Argentina. So this is one of the things that I want to share with all of you. Um, so in the, in these days out of time, so we can create it, co-create it all together. So first of all, let me uh, remind you what is the days out of time. So people that has joined us uh, recently, maybe you don't know what we are talking about. So uh, I would like to explain a little bit. So the reason why these five day days out of time is because we are following the Syrian year. The Syrian year means that we are following the moment uh, of the rising of the star Sirius um, in the horizon in the latitude 33 north. Why is that? Because after six months of disappearing from the north, the star of Sirius appears again um, every year in the latitude 33 north. Um, sorry, uh, it appears again. And in the latitude 33 north, where our ancestors uh, in civilizations like Atlantean civilizations were uh, spread, um, they celebrated the new year in that moment, when in that latitude, 33 north, the star of Sirius appears again. So that for them means the new year. Okay, so we started to count the new year from that moment, uh, following the ancient calendar. So it's very difficult to understand when a year begins. Let's remember this, because the Earth is like, is like a spheric. So it's impossible to determine which moment, in which latitude or which um, uh, meridian um, uh, the year starts is impossible to say. It's something much more psychological than real. Okay, so that's why every culture choose a different moment, a different, a different um, um, yeah, moment of the year according to their own culture. It could be a solstice, an equinox, uh, it could be any latitude, any moment and any place. So that's why we choose 33 north latitude, because we created this path of the I am in Egypt, which is in Cairo, 33, 31, 33 latitude. So in, the, in that area of the planet is where the star Sirius appears again in the year. So that's why we choose uh, that moment, okay, to start the year, because also those are the civilizations that work for consciousness. Hmm? So remember that what we are doing from that moment, August 4, 5, uh, we start to count from that day 360 days of consciousness, meaning the whole year, the whole sphere, okay? Every day is a degree in the circle, which is 360 degrees, okay? So each day is a degree divided in 12 months, of 30 days each, which are divided in three weeks of 10 days each. Okay, so um, so the whole conscious year, okay, all together. So that's the perfect circle. Uh, and that's why we are going to work with every day with a different topic. This is something that we are going to, um, that we are going to, to keep on going the whole time. So, uh, because once you finish the 360, you have five days more. So those other five days are celebrated as the days out of time because you don't know where to put them. 
So that's why the ancients put them all together and created the days out of time and celebrated each day for a God, like a new beginning, a new era. So for us, it will be the days of fire, earth, ether, water, and air, hmm? the elements. So this is why every year we are going to celebrate these five days out of time and the 360 days to work in our axis in coherence. Hmm? So from now on, from this 4th, uh, August 4th, um, every post of every day won't be published in my social media. I will stop sharing that in my own social media. Okay. So everything that is the year of the I am will be posted in the Instagram and Facebook of the I am. Okay. We have the, we have that, um, social media, the just soy, um, which I will share in stories all the time, of course, but the post won't be in my social media, will be only there. So if you want to keep on going with the daily activations, the daily um, topics to, to remind you and stuff, so you can have it all there. So you won't miss it and it will be all like aligned so you can keep the track, okay? But of course, the days out of time, we will be together, we will do an alignment or something to integrate the whole year again. So this will be like a tradition for us, the celebration of these five days. And of course, the topics of each one of the days will be something to remind us constantly, what do we have to do to get balanced, to find the axis every day, okay? So it's our tradition for the years, always. Hmm? Of course, that eventually I will start to post more conversations with the I am and so on, but all of them will be connected to the first idea that we have shared all together in 2020 and 2021. Hmm? So um, in between all this that I'm sharing about the year, I wanted to share with you also three news that um, I'm glad about. Uh, that that I want to share with all of you, um, which are the projects that we are uh, going to do. And uh, what I wanted to do is to, what I will do is to share this during the five days so we can manifest it to uh, sow this uh, for the future in these days out of time. Hmm? Because these days out of time are like intentions for to sow the things uh, that are about to come. I have it all written because otherwise I will forget. So first of all, I remind you that for um, that there is space to, you have sites to for still for fire group in Capilla del Monte. Hmm? I remind you that we will try to close um, the whole um, group of fire by the end of August, okay? So um, I suggest for you to, um, to join um, as soon as possible. Les quería compartir que también todos los que se anoten a, eh, obviamente los que ya están en, en agua, ya están inscritos, pero eh, todos los que estén en agua y se inscriban a fuego eh, hasta hasta ahora, el 4 de, de agosto, hasta que empiece el año, todos aquellos que se inscriban en estos días también eh, van a participar de este taller el 13 de agosto, que es de Cosmovisión Atlante. ¿sí? La idea de la Cosmovisión Atlante es explicarles un poco toda la filosofía de cuáles son los puntos específicos de eh, lo que se trabajaba en Atlántida para los caminos de conciencia, eh, cómo se desarrollan, eh, y demás, ¿sí? Entonces, nos va a preparar para también el 11-11, lo que expliquemos el día 13 de agosto, ¿sí? Así que aquellos que se inscriban hasta el 4 de agosto al Grupo Fuego van a poder participar de este taller eh, que voy a dar eh, todo el día 13 de agosto. ¿Mm? For those who, um, who join the Group Fire, those who subscribe until August 4th, 
so the beginning of the year during these whole days uh the days out of time all the people that has been subscribed already and the people that is subscribing right now until august 4th uh you will be um able to access to the um, uh, atlantean Cos cosmovision uh the worship that i will give in august 13th so um all these people can can um will have access to this worship august 13th regarding uh, about the whole atlantean vision of initiative path the topics that maybe you have to to know for every one of them of the path that we are going to do together and so on hmm? i encourage you to do this as soon as possible um so another thing that i wanted to remind you is that uh, we have said for the beginning of this year that every everyone that is from the fire and water group, fire and water group, that has gone to Egypt and will come to Argentina, both countries, both groups, all together, you will be um, you will be able to access to the Arsian course. Um, which is like a, yeah, a, a course to become an RCN that I will give in 2023 along some months. Okay, so I will give uh, this. Um, I will be given this uh, this course. So everyone who has gone to Fire and Water Group in Egypt and Argentina this November, all together online, you will have the access to go to this. Uh, course during 2023 okay that we will prepare for you so that's the second thing the news that i wanted to share with all of you that i am happy to to tell you uh, is that we are working in shaping the idea of a university which will be physical and uh, online for everyone and this university will be called ontos which is uh, for ontocracy, uh, and would be a university to, to improve, to learn, to go deeper into all the knowledge of, the, uh, of all the topics in the IAM. Meaning that not only me, but many other people will be teaching information courses, long courses along the whole year for, uh, and many years, uh, for all of you to get ready to prepare in all the topics that you would like. So we will share with all of you much more information about this. We are working in all this, and this will start in 2024. So we have plenty of time to work in Shape It, but um, the idea is to for everyone to have access to this information, to, to get prepared, and also to put in order all that information. So the, the, the thing that I like the most about this idea is to put all these courses that usually people pick from very different places. Um, so the idea of the university is to make a curriculum from all this, like put it in order so you can find it in a proper way. You can, you can find all the knowledge and people teaching all this in a way that you can understand how it all connects, okay? So you don't have to pick things uh, around and everyone can share this information in this space. And the other news that I wanted to share with you regarding this uh, university idea is to um, is for all of you who are going, going to be physically in, uh, in that has been physically in Egypt and will be physically in Argentina this November, all those, we are going to call you the f uh, foundational seats. So, um, so you are going to be the uh, part of the people that is founding this university. So you will receive a certificate saying that you are a founder seat of the university Ontos and you are helping us. So, um, so your names will be in in the in the physical place with the actual names with with um like a founders um 
I don't know in English how it say, but the, the founder's plate, something like this, uh, you will have um, your name there as a founder seat of the university. So because you physically were there to actually help us to make this possible. As we say in the Arsene Foundation, to, to sow a new humanity. Hmm? So the founders, that the actual founders uh, will be those who are physically there. So the four groups, air, earth, fire, and water. Hmm? Thank you all for being a member of the foundation. Thank you all for being uh, physically in our gatherings because you are helping us to give birth to this idea and this project of this university, the Ontos University. So we will be sharing more information about the university when we have more data. But um, as I said, you can join to be part of this until this November. So join the gathering in November, where we are closing the whole idea of this uh, project to start with a new time, with a new um, project of ONTOS. Once said all this, um, let's go to the alignment, which is to connect the information for, for FIRE today. We are going to integrate all the path of FIRE in a meditation. And the same thing we will do each one of these days. I'm going to join Guille. Hola, Guille. Hola. Hi. So let's remember that the day of fire, the path of fire, has its unity, which is the month of Aries, the month of Leo, and the month of Sagittarius. Hmm? So we will integrate these three uh, aspects in ourselves, which is Aries, the spark, the divine spark, um, Leo, which is the fire itself, and Sagittarius, which is the light and the heat. Is it comfortable? Start to move your body, stretch your body from your feet. Feel your head. Trying to find the right position. Feel your body with deep breathing. Feel what is the position that your body needs in this moment. When we close our eyes. Take a deep breath. We concentrate in our breathing through our nose. I take a deep breath, feeling the air entering my lungs. I become aware that with every breath that I take, I am softly blowing the spark that lives in me, the divine spark in my heart. As I Perceive the breathing, the air. I feel how the air goes to the lung and from there to my heart, igniting sparks of colors. That fill up my beings and artery. This spark is the being that I call I, me. The being that emerges, that exists. To question, to find the answers along the whole universe, the world, existence. The spark is the ego, the self that is looking for itself. Is intention 
to find yourself. I breathe every time faster, bringing life to this spark, igniting it from within. It is here in the heart where the spirit finds the soul and manifests in the body. The spirit is the inspiration that moves the soul to ignite the body. Remember, this spark is the question, the question that takes us to initiate the path. I honor the question. I become aware that is the question that brought me here, not the answer. There is no answer, no truth, knowledge or wisdom without questioning. There is no strength without movement. There is no purpose without a beginning. I breathe faster, quick, and I observe the sparks turning into fire. The divine spark of color turn into flames. And from my heart, the spirit ignites into a flame in the color yellow, dorado, golden, which expands, igniting the flame of the soul in a beautiful pink color. And both of them are surrounded by a beautiful blue flame, representing the will of my body. The trying flame ignites in me. I am wisdom. I am love. I am will. and I recognize that I am. I am my twin flame. I am a light blue flame and a pink flame that ignites my Merkaba, the vehicle of light. The I am, I remember, I am the light, I am the way, I am the truth, I am love, I am who I am. I observe myself turn into fire, igniting my whole being and I expand this heat, this light to the world. I recognize that I am the heart of the world, the core of the planet. And the heat that emanates from me gives life to all existence. I expand my body throughout the volcanoes creating the tectonic plateaus. 
the path, the fire of my body forges the minerals of the world manifest in the continent and the oceans. My body turns into the earth and my fire flows throughout each volcano, the ring of fire, the kundalini, the snake, the dragon of light, and in me ignites Africa, Oceania, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, Antarctica, and my fire ignites in the hills of the oceans and the oceans are igniting me Arctic Atlantic Indian Pacific Antarctic The Kundalini of the world ignites in me, emanating life, heat, light. I am the divine spark. I am the sacred fire. I am the light of the world. I am fire. I take a deep breath. I take a deep breath and start to move my body like the fire, stretching and bringing the light and the heat throughout the entire physical body, coming back here and now. Thank you everyone for having walked along us another year of consciousness. And thank you for being here and now and anchor the spirit of the fire. I am fire. Gracias, Guille. See you tomorrow at the same, at the same time to activate the earth. <laughs>